Hi everyone, I'm so thankful to Mike for opening our service so brilliantly today and for Caroline for starting to lead us in song and just lift our eyes and our hearts to the Father and to the Lord that we love. But I do still have a little something to say today, mostly to our children and young people, although not necessarily just to them. Do you remember that when we were together we started using clipboards so that our younger members could show us what they were seeing and hearing as we engaged with the Bible together? I believed that the results would be deep, and they really were. Have you never read, Jesus once said, from the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise? Here are a few of my favourite pieces from back then. Now I know most of us don't have clipboards in our houses, but in a way that means that we can be even more creative, doesn't it? Because we can use anything in our homes to make our sermon artwork now. We're just about to start four weeks on the book of Ruth, which is the amazing story of a girl who left everything she knew to join the ancient church and to run to our Lord and Saviour, Jesus. So I thought, what better time than this epic story to get back into our artwork with full force. Each week, each chapter of Ruth will give you some ideas and you can use any materials you want. Pen and paper, collage, Lego, Play-Doh, even your toys. This week, we're going to see Ruth and her mother-in-law Naomi travel from the country where their husbands died back to Naomi's hometown, Bethlehem. So I have two ideas for your artwork. One, Naomi was a member of church and Bethlehem was in Israel, which was the home of the church in those days. So she was taking Ruth, a foreigner, from another country into the church and we'll see that Ruth was welcomed with open arms. So you could draw the church, then or now, welcoming in all the nations of the world and introducing them to Jesus. Two, you might recognise the name Bethlehem because of the famous people who've been born there. But for now, let's focus on the fact that it means house of bread. Ruth and Naomi went back because they'd heard that the famine that had been happening was over and there was bread in Bethlehem again. And they went during the harvest when the Passover festival was happening. So you could draw Ruth and Naomi going on a journey from a graveyard where they buried their husbands to a house of bread where a big old church party was happening. To give us some inspiration, the Nelson children have been busy making some examples for us. Here's Bethany Sylvanian family church gathering in all the nations. And here's Elijah and Jethro's bread for the house of bread. Here's the journey by Bethany that Ruth and Naomi did. And the same by Noah from the graveyard to the house of bread. And here is a 3D version of that same journey. And then look, Orpah turned back. How sad. And here is a spoiler for next week, Ruth in Barley Fields, because Bethany's made us a video for the whole book. Weren't those awesome? I can't wait to see what the rest of you come up with. You can use my two ideas or any of your own. Send your artwork in to Bronwyn or me and we'll feature it as soon as we can. Okay, now let's hear from the Bible and the exciting things Marcus has to share with us from this first chapter of Ruth. 